Welcome back, everybody. Some people are putting their health care needs on pause during the pandemic, but it's really not necessary. Dr. Spencer Amundsen from the Peak Orthopedics Clinic is joining us now to talk all about elective surgery and why you should not delay. Doctor, let's start right with this. It's reasonable to schedule a joint replacement surgery right now during the pandemic? I think so. Of course, people will say, well, you're a surgeon, you're going to say that. But we've been doing this for about six months or so now, and to our knowledge, nobody who's had surgery has then gone on to receive COVID from doing that operation. Perhaps if you're at really high risk, it might be reasonable to wait. But for the vast majority of people, I think it's a safe thing to do. Well, especially if you need that knee or hip replaced, you want to do that as soon as possible because that can be painful. But we are sure that you're doing things a little differently because of COVID-19. Kind of talk to us about some of the changes that have been made to how you run things in your office. Sure. Of course, we do the same things that everybody does. Social distancing, masks, washing hands, etc. Before anyone can have surgery, they get tested a few days before to make sure that they're COVID negative. That way, we're not bringing any patients into the hospital and no one else is being exposed to COVID. And one of the most interesting and probably important things that we're doing is a move towards keeping people in the hospital for a shorter amount of time. In many instances, we do surgery in the morning with a knee or a hip replacement. You get up and walk with therapy in the afternoon, and then you go home to sleep in your own bed. So you really minimize the contact that you have with other individuals in the hospital. And the way we do that is a change in the, in the pain medications that we administer, the way we do things so that we can get people up and moving right away. Which I'm sure a lot of people are excited for the opportunity to, to get moving sooner than mm -hmm. later. Now, a lot of patients nervous about having surgery without a support person. So a lot of people are wondering, will you be allowing visitors for the surgery? That changes day to day. As of right now, at Lone Peak Hospital, where I do a lot of my surgeries, someone can come in with the patient to the pre-op area, talk with the surgeon, leave for a short period while we do the surgery, but then come back in after to take the patient home or to be with them while they're in the hospital. I think it's a, an important part having someone to support you during the uh, difficult uh, surgery and recovery. Now let's go right to what you uh, specialize on here. When should someone consider this joint replacement? So I do hip and knee replacements, and if someone has hip or knee pain but you're not sure, come in and let's take a look at it. For someone who does know that they need a hip replacement, then it comes down to when, when does the pain bother you enough that it's limited you, you either can't do certain activities, it hurts too much to do activities, you're avoiding things, you decide that your quality of life isn't acceptable anymore. But let's just kind of point out that you said people are leaving the hospital the same day, so even when you do have a joint replacement, Walking is not out of the option pretty fast. Yeah, we get them moving right away, same day for pretty much everybody. Okay, doctor, thanks so much for joining us. Thank so you. Where can we find more information about your practice? PeakOrthoClinic.com. Okay, fantastic. Thank you for joining us, and all the information can be found online at abc4.com. And coming up,